Okay, so um, I made a video a while ago about how to treat your shins um, for when you get those bumps, knots, mice, whatever you want to call them. Um, you get them in training, you get them from fights for sure, from checking kicks. Um, but the faster you treat them and the better you treat them, the faster you can get back to training and they're really not that big a deal. Um, they're pretty easy to treat. So definitely check out that first video to talk about uh, how to treat them with hot water, which is the best way for me to treat them. Um, but recently, I checked a kick in a fight and um, I was doing the hot water treatment on it and everything was um, working the way that it should. It just, the knot was staying longer than it should. Um, and part of that is that I don't have Nook anymore from Lana Muay Thai who uses his elbow to like rub out and really drain the knot. Um, so not having someone to press it out for me, I think may have been part of the reason that uh, I was having a hard time getting rid of it and then I ended up checking another kick and it blew back up. So now that I'm here in Patia, my trainer, Renu, um, has a different way of dealing with the uh, knots on the shins. And so he recommended to me, um, it's called Walterin Gel. Uh, apparently it also comes in an oral tablet form, which I have not tried. Uh, but this works really well for me. It's for arthritis and things like this, but so it really made the swelling go down. Um, the active ingredient is diclofenac, which is a kind of um, salt, I believe. Um, but you can read my blog post. It definitely has on here um, how to find this with other names. This is just a brand name. Um, but I see this as being something that you use when the knot's not going away. I don't think I'm gonna be using this as my first aid. I'm gonna stick with the hot water because that's really what works. Um, so uh, this is what I was using on my shin. Uh, this is what you use for like massages and stuff like this. And uh, Krenu told me this is just for muscles. You're not supposed to use this on your knots. Um, they do have like a green, uh, it's made from ginger that they put on there afterwards, which is better. Um, but so this, not so much on your shins to try to treat them. Um, I cut open an anklet um, that I use when I still have a knot. I'll pull it up like this, and this is a little bit loose because I use it a lot. So you just kind of put it in the spot that you need to press it down while you're kicking. You don't need to do this when you're not training, but I do this while I'm training. Um, and then you can put the soccer shin guard from my last video that I was talking about on top of there. Um, so <laughs> since I don't have since I don't have nook anymore to make me cry while he's pressing out my shins, um, I've developed a new way to do this. So I'll heat the shin with the hot water treatment that I do, um, or you can use just a hot water bottle and fill this with really hot water and you want to keep this on here just to warm up the area. This is just a broomstick, actually, um, but anything that's like pretty solid, um, the kind of thing that uh, runners will like, I think they have a stick that they do for like their calves or whatever. You're going to be using this on the front. So I had my bump right here along the side of the shin. So it wasn't on the bone, it was on the side of the bone, which is why it's so hard to get rid of is because it's all just soft material. But so what I would do is press hard. Like if the bump were here, I start above it and then you're just going to push down and you want to go past where the bump is. So I come all the way down to my ankle and in my last video, I was saying press in only one direction. When you're flattening it out like this, Nook would use his forearm like this, and he would go in both directions. So I go down like this, and I come back up, and you want to come up high, and then you want to try to get different angles. It's painful, but it's working. So use your thumb to kind of go below the knot and try to drain like directly around it. and get all that stuff moving like that, and then use the stick to kind of really press it out. Another thing I noticed when Nook was helping with my massages is that up here above the knee is definitely where some of those blockages come from. Um, when he would come up here and start going with his arm, it was so painful. And uh, I could feel that it was like locked up up there. And uh, recently I went to get a massage and the lady was working on this part and I could feel that it was helping with my knot. So, when you're doing all of your pressing, try to come up all the way up here as well. You can use, you can use the stick up here and kind of get, you know, some of that stuff going here. This is easier to reach, so you can actually use your own elbow, and you just want to find, you'll feel it. You'll feel the areas 
that are kind of tight and you just want to get in there and start loosening those up so that it can get everything moving. Um, when you're done with all this fun, that's when you use this and you just put a little on, rub it in. Um, I was doing it um, after training in the morning after my shower, then midday, then after training in the evening and before bed. So I was doing it four times a day and after about two days the swelling went away and after three days there wasn't any sensitivity anymore. Um, so very good trick for when it's not going away. Um, for me, I'm going to be using the hot water treatment and the ice bath after fights pretty much. It's been working for me. It's easy. Um, it doesn't require any medication and it's perfect. So I'm going to be doing that for the most part, but this is the stage two if it's not going away and um, it made it go away. So that's really nice.